first assignment. So I will accept the forms now again. I have shared the link, okay. So, I have shared the, the, for those who have not submitted yet, you can go to this uh, assignment and submit. Um, okay. Um, last class we had done till I think we were talking about the strands, tendons, etc. Oh, oh, oh. Some of you have done the this thing, na, assignment. So uh, anyone who can tell me the some tell me some of the advantages and disadvantages of the pre-stress over RCC. Anyone on one points. Um. I have the names of whoever have sent me the assignment. Shimti. She present or no? Yes, ma'am. Mm, you have submitted the assignment, right? Yeah, yeah. Give me, yeah, they give one advantage or disadvantage of pre stress concrete over RCC. Uh, in pre stress, the internal stress has been induced prior to loading, whereas in the reinforced concrete, no internal stress is induced in RCC. Okay, and uh, next, another Vivek Pradhan, if he is present, Vivek Pradhan, yes, ma'am. Yeah, you tell me one advantage or disadvantage of pre stress over RCC. Ma'am, pre stressing can be used in uh, large scale construction. Okay. A large scale, actually, not only in large scale constructions, but also pre stress is used in uh, most of the constructions nowadays in the present day. Like because they can give you the greater strength, uh, you can also yep. construct. Yeah, you can also construct in your uh, buildings, of uh, slabs, beams, uh, in parking areas. You can plot. Uh, you can construct those areas. Then again, uh, bridges, etc. You are going to do then on railway track sleepers. We use precast sleepers. So also your uh, pre-stressing, pre-stress concretes are also used on your this thing. Uh, railway sleepers which are already precast and uh, on off site and then they are brought to the on site and uh, placed there then also the electricity poles you can see those also precast they are precast pre stress concretes they are already um, made and then they are brought to the site then uh, so you can also use uh, we use to decrease the spun to depth ratio of suppose in a bridge if there is a higher uh, spun to depth ratio also it will cost higher because your rcc materials will be in case of rcc your materials required will be more for that spun to depth ratio to get that much of strength 
for a same bridge when you construct with rcc and uh, another one with pre stress what is happening your pre stress is giving more strength as compared to your rcc it is very much because it is in a pre stressing we use high grade of concrete and high tensile strength of steels yeah. so uh, they are giving you more strength as compared to the rcc for the same bridge and also what happens what is another advantage is that your when you use your pre stressing you can use lesser amount of material as compared in comparison to your uh, rcc because you will require in rcc you will require more materials to gain that much of strength which your uh, tendons uh, sorry which your pre stressing material is providing for the same loading for the same uh, construction of the structure so in that case what happens in pre stressing you when you are using for the same bridge you are also decreasing the span to depth ratio of the bridge decks so you are decreasing the span to depth ratio by using lesser amount of material with higher strength in pre stressing okay so these things you have stress who has written pallab taluka stress is constant in pre stress concrete varies in reinforced concrete it varies with linear area okay right so if i share with you now next we'll see the general principles how your pre stressing works hmm one okay so now if we go to the general principles that is the analysis of the stresses in a pre stress concrete what happens there are basically three types of okay i'll tell you there are three methods of finding out the stresses which are developed on your pre stressed material okay you are so the, there are three methods okay of finding out the stresses which you are inducing or which are after pre stressing you are giving pre stressed force to the member and then what happens there are counterbalancing of the uh, stresses and what are the ultimate extreme stresses at the end on the mid section and at the n sections we have to find out so how to find out those things you can calculate those things by that means you can calculate the stresses by three methods there are three methods the first method if i say is your stress method stress concept method okay next one is your c line method c line you can say this is also known as your trust line method also this is again known as p line method okay so this is the second method and the third method is your load balancing method load balancing method so these are your three methods through which using which you can find out the stresses developed final stresses developed at the mid section at the end section at the top fiber and the bottom fiber of the mid section at the top fiber and the bottom fiber of the end sections okay so these are your three methods so today we are going to discuss the stress concept method okay how we can use the stress concept method how we can use this stress concept method for finding out the stresses what is the principle behind this so if you see here this figure you are looking here this is a simply supported pre stress concrete beam this is of rectangular section you see here and it has its dead load or life load is present here and our i think in the previous classes we have uh, did i tell you about the uh, concentric tendons and uh, the eccentric tendons huh did i tell you about the concentric tendons and eccentric tendons hello
something about tendons you told us man yeah no uh, did i tell you about concentric and uh, this uh, eccentric tendons or to the other section i said this yes ma'am okay what was concentric tendons hmm was placed in the middle yeah yeah that means i have yeah. done no so if i go again i will share my screen now this one here uh, Not this. Where it is? Pre stress. General principles. No problem, I can do here also. So, what is your general principle here? You see here. That uh, you will have, you will have a rectangular section here, rectangular beam section, con uh, pre-stressed concrete beam of rectangular section. Okay, and here in the the tendon is placed. This is a concentric tendon. That means at the center. Now these are the pre-stressing pores which are already induced in your beam here. So if we consider this pre-stressing force to be P. Okay, and due to this, what will happen? These are the compressive. When we pull the tendons and then release, this pre-stressing forces are developed, which are the compressive forces. And when these forces are developed, what happens? This force is equal on all the sides, on all the sections. This is your section. This is your section. Okay, so this was your section now this force which is your p pre-stressing force this is equal on all the sides and in the cross section if you see here it is equal so equally divided along the cross-sectional area that is a so our uh, direct stress which is your uniform throughout the beam is given by this one p by a where a is the cross-section area of the member. So, pre-stressing force, this is the stress which will be equal on all the sides, which is uniform in the beam and throughout the cross-section area. So, this is one of the stresses which is developed due to the pre-stressing force, pre-stressed force. Okay. So, when you are asked, sometimes when you will know that Due to this pre-stressing force, when you apply pre-stressing force, what happens there is a stress developed along the cross-section of the, along the, uh, on the entire beam throughout the cross-section area is your P by A, which is direct and uniform. Now, another thing is that another stress will be developed, which is...
Now you can see on the beam what happened the due to the pre-stressing force there was a direct stress these are your stress diagrams of your pre-stressing force when you apply a pre-stressing force what happens these are the stresses which are developed that is one is p by a which is uniform throughout the cross-sectional area which is given by p by a uniformly distributed along the area so it is p divided by a at the top fiber also it is p by a at the bottom fiber also it is p by a now and also what was your uh, this was your beam this was your beam in this way so what happened was when a load would fall here okay there will be some moment this way moment will be there m m moment will be there so due to this moment also another stress will be developed on the beam which is given by this stress is given by stress due to bending moment is given by m by z okay that is uh, m divided by z where your m is the moment moment at the section and your z is your section modulus of the particular uh, beam or the rectangular section okay so this was your moment due to pre-stressing force moment due to uh, sorry uh, the stress due to bending okay so now the total stress will be how much and this is given by plus minus m by z that means your total stresses is what p by a this one if i say you this is the stress developed due to the bending moment which is m by z at the top fiber and at the bottom fiber and you can see this is the sign plus minus that means because you know your uh, beam is due to this loading your beam is going to bend in this way <coughs> okay so what is there compression at the top which is given by plus sign and tension at the bottom so plus minus that means at the top fiber your uh, stress is what plus m by z this one and at the bottom it is minus m by z now the total extreme stresses will be how much this stress plus this stress that means the direct stress plus your plus your stress due to bending so this will be p by a plus minus m by z so stress at the top will be how much this p by a at the top fiber here will be how much this plus your this that means p by a plus m by z and at the bottom will be total stress how much p by a minus your this m by z this one so in this way you can find out the total stresses at the top as well as at the bottom okay so this is a stress concept method where you take these stresses and find out the total stresses you can find out the total stresses at the bottom and at the bottom okay so but when we use those three methods we had the three methods stress concern method c line method load balancing method so in those uh, all the three stresses whichever whatever stresses are developed due to the pre-stressing force will remain same whether you uh, take this method or c line method or load balancing method so in a way you also can check your answers when you are you can use suppose what, what this question i have given you so uh, in this question you can either solve the pre stresses you can find out the total stresses at the top at the bottom at the mid span at these end sections by either using stress method, stress concept method, C line method, load balancing method, any kind, any three, any one of the three methods, and you will get the same stresses developed. That is the total stresses. Okay. Is it okay to everyone?
हेलो हेलो यस मैम यस मैम या अब प्लीज इन्फॉर्म मी ओके व्हेन आई हैव टू टेक द अटेंडेंस आल्सो बिफोर 10 मिनट्स बिफोर द मीटिंग गेट्स ओवर रिमाइंड मी otherwise at, at the end uh, yeah at the end otherwise so many are left out okay now you can note down uh, please you note down this question here a pre stress concrete beam 400 mm into 600 mm in section write down so that you can also practice this then you will understand better when you do yourself a pre stress concrete beam just note down the question at the bottom here it is visible to you na the question no ma'am wait is it it is it visible i'm still not in screen oh, okay, this one this one yeah the pre stress concrete beam 400 mm into 600 mm in section has a span of 6 meter span of 6 meter and is subjected to uniformly distributed load of 1600 a uh, sorry 16 kN per meter including the self weight of the beam the pre stressing tendons which are located along the longitudinal centroidal axis provide an effective pre stressing force of 960 kN determine the extreme fiber stresses in concrete at the mid span section okay so the here the dimension is given to you of the beam section this one a uh, span is given to you 6 meter a uh, load is also given to you that means the external load the including the dead load self load self weight of the beam any other external loads all those are mentioned to you here so this total 16 kN per meter if i show you your beam section is given to you span is given to be 6 meter um span is given to be 6 meter uh 16 kg total load which is coming here is your so this total loads which are coming uniformly distributed load so all this loads which are coming is uh 16 kN 16 kN per meter then your pre stressing force is given to be 960 kN
your pre-stressing forces your pre-stressing forces which is your P is given to be um, 960 kN. Hmm. So this is your question. Understood the question? Dimensions, okay. Cross-section dimension is also given to you. This is your dimension, cross-section. Here you have, here you have your, this is how much? Okay, I can just, uh, 400 mm, 400 mm, 400 mm, this side is your 600 mm, okay? So, this was your question, which says that your, this is a section given to you. 400 mm into 600 mm in a section, span is given to be 6 meter, uh, total load is 16 kN, external load that means also including the total load that means is 16 kN including its own self weight, then the pre-stressing is 960 kN, uh, this is span is 6 meter and we are asked to find out the uh, stresses determine the extreme fiber stresses in the country at the mid-span section that means here If I take this green color at the mid span section, here you are asked to find out the maximum fiber stresses. That means at the top, what you are going to get your stress at the top and at the bottom here in the mid span section, you have to find out the stresses. Done the question written. Yes, 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 yes. Mm. Okay. So, so will you can you try the sum problem? Find out the area. What will be the area of the cross section? Area of the cross section. Calculate the area. How much is your area? Cross section area, how much? Hmm? Cross section area. A is how much? Two forty meter square. Hmm. In mm, if you write twenty four into ten to the power four mm square. Because already you know here, this is given to you here. These are your uh, sections 400 into 600 mm square. So 2400 to 24 into 10 to the power 4 mm square. Then we have, we once we get the area C, uh, this is this normal general principle, which that means we have to find out the fiber stresses at the top. At the top, you know, due to this pre stressing force. One direct stress will be there, which is your P by, by A. 
so a you have to calculate p you already know this p this p already you know it is given 960 kilonewton area you know now from this 400 into 600 mm square so uh, direct stress will come out p by a okay meeting is going to end you can try this thing because the general principle which i showed you here same as that and you can calculate the total stresses at the top and the at the bottom okay i think we have another class at 1 pm so we'll solve there okay Uh, Stephanie, present ma'am. Two, roll number two. Three, four. Eight. Present ma'am. Four. Four, five. Present ma'am. Five. Eight, six. Present ma'am. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Ma'am. For enrollments, okay. If I say eight, you if you're present, you say eight, okay. Nine, ten, ten, ma'am, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, present, ma'am, twelve, okay, present, so fourteen, fifteen, seventeen, ma'am, seventeen, okay, eighteen. Yes, ma'am. 18. Okay, 19. 20. 21. Yes, ma'am. 20. 20. Yes, okay. yes ma'am. 21. 21. Okay, 22, 23. 23. 23, 24. 25. 26. 26, 26 ma'am. Okay. 27. 28. Good. Twenty uh, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-two, ma'am. Okay, thirty-four, thirty. Present, miss. Okay, thirty-six. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. Okay, thirty-six. Thirty-seven. Present, ma'am. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven, present, ma'am. Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight, present, ma'am. Okay, thirty-nine. Present, ma'am. Forty. Okay, forty. Forty-two. 43 43 present 45 46 46 48 48 present ma'am okay 49 50 present ma'am 50 Ma'am present, ma'am present, ma'am. Okay, 51. 52. 54. 54 50, present, ma'am. Okay, 55. 56. 57. Present, ma'am. 58. 59. 59. 59. 60. 60 ma'am. Okay, 61. 61 ma'am. 62. Okay, 62. 63. Yes ma'am. 63. 60, okay, 99. Yes ma'am. 99. Okay, 101. 101. 104. Present ma'am. 104. Okay, 106. 100. Okay, 108. 108 present. Okay, 109. 109 present, ma'am. Okay, 111. 111 present, ma'am. 113. Present, ma'am. 113. 114. Present, ma'am. 118. 114. Okay, 118. 120. Present, okay, 120. 124. 124. Present, ma'am. Okay, 133. Present, ma'am. 133. Present, 134. 134. 136. Present, ma'am. 143. 44. 45. 45, present, ma'am. Okay, 48. 49. 50. 
51. Anybody left out? Name roll number 11. Yeah, 11, okay. Uh, you can give in the chat box also. 5, 5 I gave already. 8. 8 is also given. 